So a line of best fit is drawn onto a scatter graph in order to show the correlation between our two sets of data. So a scatter graph, we plot the two sets of data on our Cartesian grid, and then our line of best fit is drawn in between those two sets of data, either with a positive gradient because we've got a positive correlation, meaning both sets of data are increasing at the same time, or we've got a negative correlation, which states that one set of data is increasing while the other one is decreasing, and we have a negative correlation, so we would have a line of best fit with a negative gradient. So in this example, the fuel consumption of a group of cars is recorded. The scatter graph shows a relationship between the fuel consumption F kilometers per litre and the engine size E litres of the cars. A line of best fit has been drawn for us and we can see that it has a negative gradient because as the size of the engine increases, the fuel consumption decreases. We want to find the equation of the line of best fit in terms of F and E and give the equation in its simplest form. So the first thing we need to do is we need to write down what our equation of a straight line would be. And that would be y equals mx plus c. And because we want to give our line in terms of f and e, we can say that f, because that's what the y-axis has been labelled as, equals m, and our x-axis is labelled with an e, plus c. So we need to work out what the gradient of that line is. So if we zoom in on our graph, we're going to identify two points on our Cartesian grid. So we've got one point here, which is 1.514. And we've got another point here, which is the coordinates 3.58. So now we need to use our gradient formula. So our gradient formula says m, m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So we're going to let 1.514 be our y2 and our x2, or x2 and y2, and we're going to let 3.5 and 8 be our x1 and our y1. So we're going to substitute our values in. So y2 was 14, and we're going to take away 8. x2 was 1.5, and we're going to take away the 3.5. Now, that gives us a gradient of negative 3. So we're going to substitute that in with one of our points into our equation. So we're going to have 14 equals the gradient, which is negative 3, times 1.5 plus c. And that gives us 14 equals negative 4.5 plus c. If we add 4.5 to both sides, we get a value c of 18.5. And then the last step is to write our equation in terms of f and e, substituting in our value for m, the gradient, and our value for c, our y-intercept. So f is going to equal negative 3 e plus 18.5. Now, we can use our equation of our line best fit in order to estimate at any position on the graph that isn't um, plotted already. So we know that at one and a half litres, our fuel consumption would be 14 kilometres per litre on our line of best fit. We also know that at three and a half litres, our fuel consumption is going to be eight kilometres per litre. But we want to know if Dev's car has an engine size of 1.1 litres, how many kilometres per litre is he going to get for his fuel consumption? So we know from the previous slide that F equaled negative 3E plus 18.5. And we're going to substitute in our value for E because E is 
the 1.1 liters. It's the engine size. So F is going to be negative 3 times 1.1 1 .1 plus 18.5, which is negative 3.3 plus 18.5. And that gives us a fuel consumption of 15.2 and we'll put units of kilometers per litre.